Awesome. Um, so, Katrina, let's uh, let's kill this one very fast because um, I want to move, I want to move on to some real puzzles. So this is your warm okay. up. Um, yeah. What is the first? Uh, okay. Do you find that there are enough indicators on the board for you to go for a kill? Uh, yes. Yep. So what would that Why be? Why not? Check. Takes. <laughs> I don't think it's this, by the way. Maybe queen check, pawn takes. But then what? No, maybe there isn't. Is there enough on this board? That's it. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Queen check, pawn takes, then what? How does white respond to this? You, you, if you move your knight, the rook isn't defended. Uh, remember, Katrina, the mantra is always checks first. So after queen checks. takes, pawn takes, you look at checks again. By the way, rook, um, rook check. Can I ask you to do me a favor, please? And you will hate me for this. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, and it's actually very stream unfriendly too. I want you to stop drawing arrows. Oh! Oh! Yeah. It's the what's it called? Yeah, no, there's no two bishops. It's definitely not Bowden's, guys. No, no, no. Um, it, I know. It's really... It's. I, I agree with you. I think that if I ever want to play on a real board in real life, that I have to stop drawing arrows. Not even that, but it's actually just a bad habit that will make you... Addicted is a bad word, but you get my point. You will... Your calculation is going to rely on you... Being, being supported in your visualization by drawing arrows it's true. and also it's very good for your chest if you practice your squares and your calculations so instead of drawing arrows call out the moves please oh so you want me to say like queen f6 yes i do queen takes f6 yep pawn takes yep and then but i feel like the answer here is bishop h6 continue please uh the king goes to g8 yep because that's the only safe square, and then rook g7, checkmate. No, it doesn't. The king can move back. Yep. Knight f6. Champion you are. All right. How difficult would you rate this was from 1 to 10? Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, let me ask a better question. Six, what would seven. be the odds that you would do this in a game? Very low. Okay, so the idea, Katrina, is, is that as a result of me coaching you for... The upcoming eight weeks, mm -hmm. you are going to be a bloodthirsty chess player who can't wait to score a mate like this. this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I sent you the next fan. Can you please copy it in? Uh, yes. Let's see if we're going to be able to do it. Or exactly. I, I'm. I'm testing you. Every time. I'm testing your skills here. No, it says invalid. Oh wait, wait, wait. Is this because it's invalid? Remember how the last one was also invalid? No, it wasn't invalid. You. You used it correctly. No, I had to. Somebody in someone in chat chat had our Artie Beer in chat was sent it back to me, um, and said try this one, and then it did work. But, but, but oh, okay. Hang, like, on, hang on, hang on, hang yeah, on. Can so I had it, all right, so chat, fix this up for me, please. There's <laughs> this is some something was missing. Oh, maybe the one one at the end. Okay, let's see. Bam, works. Look at that hero. Okay, so can you tell me please what the change was compared to what I sent you, so that I can send the next one correctly? Uh, the last zero should be a one. Oh, because it doesn't have whose turn it is. Oh, right. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Is that, yeah, that makes sense now. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Artibir. I love you, man. You are, you are the man. Um, Katrina, uh, let's, let's destroy this one. Uh, queen f6. Full lines, please. Queen f6, rook takes, rook b8 check, rook blocks on f8, rook takes checkmate. Okay, you are legendario. That, that, be that being Did said, that? this was rather easy. Just so that you guys just, you know. Yeah, play that, please. Just off. please show off a little bit. Like this. I mean, I guess they would block like this because this is puzzle rush. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually what they would do is when you play out queen f6 at first they would be like she has gone crazy and then slowly <laughs> from that high they would gra gradually break down and in 10 oh, seconds so? they would be in tears. All right, I sent you a new FEN which I think is correct. Can you, pl okay, can you please have let's, a look? Let's test this one. Well, you might be able to, to input them if they are Okay, yes. I don't know why the arrows are here, but um Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming this is because I drew this last. Do you now, see this is Katrina, what I would call sexy town, because here we need to pull out some crazy moves out of the bunny hat. Or, no, the hat from, whatever. There will be hat and bunny. And, yeah. 
all that. So, what? yeah, sorry, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> so okay. Just, just work with me. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, d- uh-huh, do you have any uh-huh. checks? Uh, no. So, what are we looking at first? Uh, captures. Correct. What is the most attractive capture in terms of wanting to destroy your opponent's defense? Queen H five. Thank you. Can you please calculate the consequences of Queen H five? Queen H five, G takes H five, and then Bishop H seven check may because of no, yes. I guess the pawn no. Yeah, checkmate. Right. So this is almost too easy to be true, right? Yes. So a lot of something pi- must be missing. Correct. A lot of chess players tend to fail when um, not evaluating correctly what the best defense for their opponents are. Actually, it's not that they don't evaluate it correctly. Right, like they don't they slack them. out. They don't want to find them because that's mm-hmm. a party pooping thing. Like you don't want to ruin yeah. your own uh, genius. But the reality is that that's what distinguishes good players from very good players and better players. And that the is their ability to find the best defense too. So what would you right. think is Black's only chance to avoid disaster after queen takes h5? Um, Bishop takes g5. Brilliant. Forcing a queen exchange? Well. But no, because, yes. So now you are seeing things rather well. So after queen h5, bishop g5, if you take back with the queen on g5, then we have a queen trade. And um, yes, you are a piece up. So I would yeah. be quite happy, but at the same time, that would mean that we miss the fourth mate. So now rewind. Mm-hmm. Get rid of the arrows, please, for me. So queen yeah. h5, bishop g5. Remind me again what the first thing is that we're looking at. Oh, uh, forcing moves that are uh, uh, like check. 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 Queen g5 was not a check, was it? It was not check. What? There's queen h7 check. Okay, continue, please. King takes h7. Keep going. Oh, uh, h takes g5 check, king moves back, and then rook h8 checkmate. Look. I know this one. This is the opera. Look. Uh, kind of. Kind of. No? Uh, the bishop and the rook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Morphis mate. The opera was a, oh. a different layout, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want Kinda to. Kind of like that, but not, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, look, any <laughs> association that takes you there, if it helps you, is, is <laughs> okay. good. Okay, all right. Perfect. It, it's good. The reason why this was tricky was because this is a bit of a party pooper, but then the check followed by the discovery yes. followed by the mate is super cool. Uh-huh. Right? I agree. Yeah. Okay, next scent. Sorry, I'm making you work hard here. Oh, that's okay. We got the numbers right now, so they're all working. Yeah, I, I'm fixing them manually. Yeah. All right. Um... The best part of this is, Katrina, is that I don't know what I'm giving you. Like, I'm getting these webs- uh, these uh, puzzles off <laughs> of a website where I okay. don't see the position, only the fence. So I'm yeah. solving them. Oh, John Bartholomew raiding the party with 193. Thank you so much, John. Whoa. You caught us uh, raiders in the middle of uh, the Ultimate Sensei uh, competition where I'm coaching uh, Katrina, who is an absolute beast at solving puzzles. So that's what's happening now. Um, Hi! Katrina, um, you are on a roll now, so you know what to do. I like both rook h6 check and rook g7 check. Rook g7 check, I think the king moves. Rook h6 check the king takes. Hold the tick, please. When you have got two candidate moves like this and this, one of them is a capture and a check. Oh, then it's better. Then the other one is a check. I'm not saying it's better, but that yeah. creates priority. Right? So okay. yeah. that then before you even, you know, find a, another reason for which one to start with, you naturally are drawn to the one that ticks more boxes. So here mm-hmm. we go like, okay, rook h6 is not only a check, but a capture. Let's yep. start there. Okay. So king takes h6. Yep. So, um, maybe queen g7 check. Very logical king indeed. H king h5. Yep. Thanks for the follows, guys. King h. Wait, king h5. Uh, oh no, you can't play queen g7. Um, the queen is on g7. Or oh, sorry, queen h7 doesn't work because queen takes. Correct. 
So. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So check takes. So rook h6, king takes, queen g7, king h5. And now I need another check. Thank you for the sub pass, Bone. I appreciate you, man. I don't know. Okay. So, um, check, pawn takes. That's not it. Now, Katrina, we are going to learn a very important method that, again, is the down the reason why 90% of people fail to solve puzzles correctly. You okay. found a line and mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Yes. Most people in this case do the following doesn't work, move on. And they find right. the, and they start looking for a different starting move instead of rook h6. The correct okay. method is, and it really sucks because it's yeah. time consuming. You need to go backwards, so to speak. So your line went rook h6, king h6, queen yeah. g7, king mm -hmm. h5, and then we didn't yeah. have a move. So you need yeah. to trace your steps backwards and go like, which move in this line was incorrect first, right? So we still right. assume that rook h6 is correct and we assume that somewhere down the line we made a mistake. And so you are tracing your back closer and closer and closer to the first move. And it's mm -hmm. possible that rook h6 is going to turn out to be incorrect. But for you to conclude that, we need to make sure that after rook h6, king h6, instead of queen g7, we don't have a different, potentially better move. So what I would like you to do now is to still look at rook h6, but okay. instead of queen g7, consider a different check. Instead of queen g7. Yep. Uh, queen h4. Okay. Queen Ca blocks. Calculate that. Queen h4, queen blocks, but you have pawn f5 check. Go on. And then the king would have to move back. You would take the queen. And that would be checkmate. Okay. So now you see. No. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. The rook. Now you see how super easy it would have been to abandon this and conclude that yeah. rook h6 sucks. Whereas yeah. the reality was that no, it doesn't. It wins. We just chose the wrong continuation. So you right. must therefore go backwards back in this to the sense. Line and then can, yeah. yeah, and we'll make your work your way back. And it's like I said, it's likely that there will be scenarios where queen h4 is also failing, and then you conclude right. that fine, rook h6 doesn't work, and then you move okay. on to else. But it has to be that methodological because otherwise yeah. you are going to be concluding, or rather arriving at wrong conclusions. Mm -hmm. uh, despite of the fact that your gut instinct was fully correct about how to mate. Yeah, I even previously thought maybe after g7 you just sack the queen so you could push the pawn with check, but I think the king gets away after that. Mm. So that makes sense why h4, right? It's the same way. You have to use the bishop yeah. somehow. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, next one is already in the Discord <laughs> chat. Oh, sorry. My chat is just wondering why, why not rook g7 first? At what point do you just give up the other idea? Well, um... So the, uh, the way how it works is that you need to calculate everything to death and you, yeah. and you need to come to a 100% definitive conclusion. And this is another thing that lower rated players are incredibly reluctant to do. And that is mm -hmm. to calculate a line and then say, I'm winning or say, I'm losing. Right. But you have to do this. That's the whole point of calculating is to separate the garbage from what's correct. And you must mm -hmm. rely on your ability because you are the only one who can make the decision, right? Right. So you can't ever say when you calculate the line that, oh, I suck at this. This is a long line. I'm going to get it wrong. I don't engage. Bollocks. Right. You can't do that. Or sometimes you think, oh, it's close enough, but it's not. Yeah. Well, I am happy very often if, if it's a difficult line and you can't see it in the end, then you still yeah. need to make a decision, which then will be based upon your gut chest feel, which will tell you that I can't see it, but I have a feeling it wins and you call it. Okay. That's it. All right, uh, let's do this. Forgat Startako, where I recognize this game. Sorry, I, to... I'm showing off. Oh, because oh, you've seen this game before. You know this game. Yeah, I was nine years old when I read a book that featured this game and I remember oh, this. And you just never forgot it. No, nah, because it's, uh, yeah, it was a brutally beautiful attack in the French. Yeah. Can you go knight f7 check? Go on. Knight f7 check, maybe knight takes, let's say, rook h5 check, the king goes to g7. Uh, and then you just sack another piece, go rook g, rook g6, double check, paw, so the pawn can't take it. 
The king is forced to go h8. Hold on a tick, Katrina. Um, when you said double check, what two pieces are giving the check? Sorry, uh, the because the king is on g7, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the queen is checking if you move the rook to g6? Correct. Isn't that queen covering the h8 square where you want it to go? Oh, yeah. Checkmate. It's checkmate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Double check. Dude, checkmate. that was nothing short of amazing. Like, you solved that so damn fast. Well, I think the thing is, when you know it's a puzzle, you have... You're like trying to stack pieces a little bit more. In this one, I knew that if the knight moved, that the pawn was pinned to the king. Yes, that 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 is. Like, I actually think that that's the harder part of the solution is to realize that rook h5 check becomes a thing as soon as the knight is gone. But can please play out this this mate because this is absolutely breathtaking. So beautiful. it would be like this, and then we don't really care what piece takes it uh, because there's this, there's this, and then there's this. Yep. Yeah. That is really nice. That is a mate and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very, very nice. All right, one more. Maybe two more even. Let's okay, go. Sure. Um... Oh, this one says invalid. Let me try again. Oh, no, I typed, I changed it to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's got the numbers, right? Uh, no. Not good? Uh, no, for some reason I'm getting an invalid on Oh, sorry, this. actually, no, 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 I'm being cray-cray. I didn't copy the first letter correctly, sorry. So there, oh, that's okay. There is an R in the beginning. Go try it again, please. Uh, one second. Oh, I see, I see, okay. This one? Yep. I think the arrows just show up from the last one. This, this makes more sense. Oh, this is too easy for you. I don't like this. Is it? Oh, yeah. You're going to absolutely smash it. Queen tech? I don't know. Queen H, Queen H6, king takes, rook H3, the king goes to, I don't know, G6, bishop check. The king goes nowhere because that's checkmate. Mm -mm. No? Nope. Does it block it? Nope. So you can't attack the queen. No, no, no. Everything you said yeah. was correct. Except when you called it mate. It's not checkmate. No. Go again. Start again. Okay. Queen it, H6, yeah, check. Yeah. King H6, yeah. Rook H3, check. Yep. Yeah. The king has to go somewhere into the G file. L let's be specific, please. So name one G, of them. So I'm going to say G, G6. Fine. If, if G6, Bishop D3. Yeah. And you call this mate. Goes, oh, it's not. The king goes G7. You go Rook H7. No, no you're... but then even then, yes. Yeah, sorry, I'm listening. Yes. Then it's okay. After rook g7, what happens? Rook h7, you mean? Yeah, you, sorry, you, rook you, h7. you walk away with a glorious victory. What oh, happens sorry. if uh, they do, the king moves the other way around? Oh, you mean if the king goes straight to g7? Yep. Okay, so after the queen, queen check, king takes on h6, then you go rook h3, and the king goes to g7. Yep. Then can't you just go straight to rook h7? Go on. And then if the king... I mean, it would have to go to g6, and then you could just go bishop d3. Bingo. Yeah. Beauty. Absolute beauty. All right. Um, I'm really kicking myself, Katrina, because I saw a game of yours that I wanted to... Where there was a puzzle? No. Uh, there was an endgame to issue Sorry. there, and I wanted to cover various different things today. Yeah, I, let's look at it. I remember just that... Just out of curiosity, do you know what the rating of these puzzles are? Um, these puzzles are not rated. It comes from a website, and I also don't believe in oh, okay. ratings, rated right. puzzles anyway. But uh, yeah. these puzzles didn't come as rated, so okay, to speak. Enough. Like it's it's just a collection of uh, puzzles, yeah. puzzles, and um, yeah, they they do not come as as rated. Uh, mm -hmm. I am massively looking. Actually, I wanted to have a chat with you about this decision that you made here. Can you please okay. load up this game for me? Let me just see if I can download it, I think. I gotta get the PGN of a game, right? That's how that works. Oh, uh, I suppose. Yes, yeah. yes. You know how to get the PGN. Oh, oh, oh Dale oh. Pickles, not Dale Pickles. <laughs> I remember this game. <laughs> I just beat him in a game and he rematched me. Okay, so just wanted to show you <laughs> one small thing about yeah. this. Um, first of all, knight d7 first. Yep. Yep. And we Wait, know... sorry, knight d7. Yep. 
Yeah. Okay. But it's okay. So we move on. 97. They took. They took. They played 94. Now, yeah. what does this move do? It attacks my knight twice. Is that relevant? And it attacks the bishop, which is hanging. Okay. Which one annoys you more? Uh, the hanging bishop. Okay. Do we want to give up bishops for knights? No. Well, definitely not a second time, right? So we can leave with <laughs> we, we can leave with this. This is actually totally fine. Yeah. Because the dynamics of the position are such that your pieces are developed what we would call harmoniously. They cooperate well. These okay. pieces don't. And the reason right. for that is because this knight on g3 is extremely awkward. It wants to be on f3. If it were on right. f3, Jesus, throwing arrows here is like a magic. Sorry, you want the knight on f3? Well, I wanted here. to throw an arrow. So it then it would control the e5 square. And so you could very naturally develop queen e2, castle queen side, and white would be significantly better. But because okay. of the knight is on g3, this position just doesn't gel together very smoothly. They try knight e4, which is the right way to make things work. But mm -hmm. it's not gonna work if Katrina responds correctly. Now Katrina right. tells me that the bishop annoying bishop is hanging and it's annoying. What yeah. do we do about this? We should move it. Correct. And oh. you are allowed to break the rules I'm giving you when Go push backwards? when push comes to shove. Because you have got two problems, the pin and the hanging bishop on d6. Guess right. what move is going to solve both problems? The, the e, bishop e7. Yes. So what I'm very confused about very often when I coach people is that how could we come to a conclusion that this is the right move, which very clearly <laughs> doesn't solve either of your problems. You I remain thinking... you remain pinned and your bishop is still hanging. Yeah. And I, I don't mean to ridicule you. Please don't take it personally. But you do see in light of what I said how utterly yeah. unhelpful this queen move is. Oh, I agree. <laughs> when I looked at it, I think when I in the in the moment I was considering castling queen side. Look, that that's fine, but uh, that is uh, putting the cart before the horse. You have got yeah. problems to solve first, and right. uh, when there is a bit of liberty for you to do whatever you want, mm -hmm. is uh, when you do this. Let me give you this because uh, I saw you on stream the other day, and I noticed something in your thinking that was quite uh, interesting, and I thought that. Uh, this might be a bit of a, a piece of advice that you will like. Okay. Kasp Kasparov once said that in chess, it's a lot more important to disallow what your opponent wants to do than doing what you want to do. Right? Your opponent wants to do... So this is a textbook case. You are very yeah. focused on wanting to castle. And so you mm -hmm. do that instead of That's stopping right. your opponent from doing what they want to do. So first, right. we stop them from what they want to do. Then we yeah. carry on with what we want to do, not the other way around. Right. Especially True. not when you are black and you are somewhat passive and you are under pressure. Yeah. Those are definitely tilting this whole theory very far towards the let's fix first what they want to do before I get fancy with what I want to do. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Because if that thing is hanging, then we don't have any problems and we can do whatever we want. Yeah. You know, attacking life. Yes. All right. I'm still looking for the end game because I really wanted to finish this lesson with a bit of a, okay. a mix of all kinds of uh, advice. Yeah. So we had some opening. Pre oh, I think I found it. Oh, no, I didn't. No, wait, was it the end game? No. Uh, I apologize to my chat now because they see me going through your games like uh, at a mad p pace. Oh, that's okay. None at all. They are just glorious wins. I know. Uh, uh, they can't even see who wins who loses because I'm like literally <laughs> going total. Bo just trying to find the end game. Total bo bonkers. Yes. Yes. The the bad news is that I remember it, but uh, I I can't Can master I can't master the strength to to actually set it up on the board. Yes, it was a recent one. I think I went too mm, far back. End game. Yeah. Ooh. I, there have been, there's you. I find that I get stuck in end games pretty frequently with like two minutes on the clock left. I've Why is that? Time. I'm I'm my time management is really poor. Okay, so I haven't picked up on that yet. It's going to happen. Uh, yeah. What part of the game do you think that you are wasting time? Uh, thinking about ideas and tactics when there aren't any and I should just, you know, be like developing. Right. Going for tricks in the opening, that kind of thing. Things that we all know are a waste of time. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Like, like earlier in this one, before the knight had moved in, I was thinking about this queen check taking this bishop. Right. Okay, I'm not, I don't know why I'm looking at your white games when I just said it was a black game. But I'm going to soon give up on this and... Uh... <laughs> My chat says it's because I spend time spent thinking about obvious blunder lines. <laughs> they don't seem obvious to me, in my defense. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it, it is quite interesting. Uh, you know what I would find interesting, Katrina, because I'm failing miserably here. Mm -hmm. um, would there be someone in your chat who would like to play a game against you, provided that I'm going to backseat you. Uh, sure, chat. Is there somebody who wants... Obviously, we cannot do this um, against someone random. Do we want do, do we want a, a lot higher rated player who isn't going to make... No, I would like no, I would like someone in your range, actually. In fact, oh, okay. because of we are preparing for the sensei, it would be optimal if it was someone in your range. Right, right. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say maybe Gummer Cramp. Uh, if more, we can ask Morphe. Um, no, because Morphe is my other student. Remember, so I would prefer right. if I didn't battle you out against each other. <laughs> oh, we're not supposed to be training buddies. Ah, oh, look, I mean, <laughs> whatever. Okay, we've got a twelve thirty-seven. I'm around fifteen hundred. Either, I feel like in the chat, when I know everyone's reading... Oh, he's already sent me a challenge. Yeah, take it, take it. And then te tell me how on earth I can observe that. Okay, so you would have to go to live and then... Hang on, no, oh, Morphe can't system. challenge you. Take the other one. No, I, it can't. I, I banned him. Oh, okay. No. I, oh, oh, wow. All right. All no, right. I didn't, but I don't want him to do <laughs> no, that. No, 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 I found someone else. Uh, yeah, please. What's your... He sent me another challenge. Okay, my... <laughs> you're going to find your son. <laughs> okay, I think in the chat, I know that there are people who are like... 1800s and 12 1300s but i don't know if there's anyone who's a 1500 and rapid off the top of my head who's here all right are you already in the game uh no all right there we go jalyptic a 1590 there we go week 1900 okay can you please tell me how i can follow that game okay so go to play play and then live chess yes and then on the bottom right you should be able to write in slash follow and then type velcro dot um, and then I'm going to set up this game. Whoa, live chess. Oh, but my live chess takes us to the analysis board that we were on. Can you cancel that uh, somehow? I think on the top right, there's a bunch of tabs. And then if you just click the X button, you should uh -huh. get out of it. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did that. Now let me try this again. So follow. Wait, oh, what? I don't know is... No, it doesn't work. No, I still can't type. It still goes into one position that I can't close, I think. Mm. Okay, wait. I will okay, close. Okay, so on the top where it says like play and other things. I went to live chess. And then it takes you to the board, right? No, it takes me to the board that I'm still owning. So we need to disown each other now if uh, that's uh, a good way to oh, say yeah, it. I, I, I mean, I actually already left. So I think you should just be able to exit it. Okay, I have no idea how to do that. So I, why don't I just refresh chess.com? And and yeah. try this. Just close the whole thing and start again. Can never go wrong with that one. Okay, wait. I went live chess. No, it still takes me to the board that I'm owning. Hold on one second, and I'm gonna come go to chat speech like. bubble in the tables on the bottom okay, right. Okay, okay. So I'm looking at your page, and on the right it says chess play and then tournaments, right? Yeah. On the top right. So just click next to chess. Yeah. Up at the top. There should, if you just like hover. Oh, yeah. Did it. Did it. Did it. Oh, my God. Jesus. No, 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 no. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my God. I am following you now, apparently, but I don't know what that means because I'm still not seeing anything. Yeah. I just sent a game. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's kick off. Now, you're not allowed to make any moves without talking to me first. Except for the oh. first few opening moves. So. Okay, I'm going to play D4. Yeah, yeah, go. And then here I was uh, going to play E takes D5. Yep. I'm going to so. take it. I'm trying to learn the, the panel. Yes. Oh, with C4. Yep, very good. Which is good because we just looked at this and this is where Chris gets weak. I exactly. Think. Yeah. I said that in Chris in the chat. Okay, okay. Knights before bishop, so I'm thinking about knight knight f three. Um hold on, no. 
No. Other knight knight. C3. Yep. yep. It's also a good knight. Yes, it's because knight c3 immediately puts pressure on d5. On the d5 pawn. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Right, right, right. Um, and then now we're even just going to play knight f3. You are. So we have already improved your last game in this opening. That's right, that's right. Okay, so my knight is pinned to my king, but do we care? Very good question, go Katrina. Bishop, bishop d3. Yes. So we are not breaking pins that are not hurting us. That's right. Although, what's what's wrong with bishop d2? It's that we are wasting a bishop on something that we shouldn't be That's wasting it. Fair enough. Yeah, because that bishop is looking to be a star on g5 now that the opponent's bishop is on b4. g5. Oh, right, right. The pin, but later, not yeah. right away. Yes, because first we want to castle out of this pin so that we feel right. entirely at ease. I agree. Now, one I very... That's why I was... Yeah? I originally thought f3 would be good because, again, I want to develop my king side pieces because I want to castle. Right. Now, Katrina, one very important thing that you need to do, and uh, it's difficult to do when you are streaming, yeah. is that this is the best time in chess that people un entirely misuse and undervalue. You need to be focusing now like mad on what you think your opponent's best move is. Oh, okay. And then trying to come up with an idea of what you would do against that. Can you please right. ask him if that was a mouse slip? Because I think he wanted to play a6. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's listening. Can you... I actually, you, we can't do, do take... Time? Well, we can do take backs anyway, right? This, there's no take backs. Well, we can then, ask him. Then there is, it's a moot point, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is next level. I... <laughs> I was thinking, is a five? <laughs> okay, well, well, I'll, I can type this in the chat. Uh, but I was thinking about castling. Very good. Now here, Katrina, we are going to take another note. Do it first, and then I will talk. So sorry. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna castle. So did it register in your head that your opponent moves was utter garbage? Yeah, it didn't make any sense. To Correct. Me. So we have to. We absolutely must take note of this. We, we do not disrespect Jail Elptic. Oh, he says I wanted a6. I knew that. So, but even that would have been at best dodgy. Okay, fair enough. Okay. All right, here, here, I'm not sure if I should move my knight twice in the opening because where, I could get out. Where of do pin. you want to go, Katrina? Knight b5. What are we doing there? Uh, nothing really. Yep. Very yeah. good. So has not really achieving anything. Yeah, are, are we done with development? Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay, so let's go bishop g5 then. Indeed. And the first time to take pride in your beautiful opening. All pieces are developed, they are castled. That's right. All this... I need to do is move my queen to connect the rooks, right? That's it. This is what I usually refer to as this is what good chess looks like. Mm-hmm. Now, let's let's play this game now, Katrina. Your job is to figure out what he's going to play before he does it. Okay. Uh, maybe h6. Okay. Maybe he just moves on and castles. Hold on, maybe hold on, there's... hold on, hold on. So, h6. Do you think that that's their best? If you do, tell me what you would do against it. I think I could just go bishop h4. You could? Is there a better choice, perhaps? If I take it and the queen takes... Yeah. Um... What would I do if I take it and the queen takes? Okay, I tell you because they, they moved already, then the d5 yeah. pawn would have been free to take. Oh, right. That's true because the knight is gone and the queen is gone. So then Correct. now we both have isolated pawns. Yes. So what I'm okay. hoping, Katrina, I managed to model to you here is that yeah. the most useful time in chess is mm -hmm. never when it's your turn. I need to think about it when You're it's The most turn. useful time to actually imm immerse yourself in what's going on in your game is when it's your opponent's turn and you investigate the position. You try to figure out what they are trying to do and right. what your likely response will be against that. that and it sense. also gives you a very good sense of direction of about you and what you are thinking versus what's happening. Because if you are constantly keep on getting... Take it back, by the way, please. Don't waste time. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry. I was, no, sorry, no. I thought, I thought the most important time was my opponent's time, so I wasn't really worried about it. <laughs> <myself. laughs> nice work there. <laughs> Slight tongue-in-cheek moment there, touche. So, so if you keep on getting it wrong all the time, that can only mean two things. A, you are totally off and you have no right. clue what's going on. Yeah. Or they are doing something very badly. Either way, mm -hmm. you need to reflect on it. 
That makes sense. I was thinking about taking the center pawn, but if I do, I don't think it really does anything except for maybe it opens up this, the E file for my rook. So maybe I should just go rookie one first if that's what I'm thinking about doing. Okay, so let's clarify this very quickly. Taking on D5 is a crime against humankind here because- Oh, that, I'm never supposed to take? Because that will open up the C8 bishop and it's gonna come out. Right, right. And it's a bad bishop right now in the Carol Khan. So <laughs> CD5 is not happening. Okay, fair now, enough. Now, rookie one is a decent move yeah. because it brings the rook to the semi open file. It supports knight e5, yada, right. yada, yada. But you are not taking on d5. Generally speaking, okay. Katrina, central That's tension fair. like that. Yeah. You I like the tension, not the fact that you can release it. We only release tension when it's advantageous to us. Okay. Let them right. take. I always thought, I think it's because in some videos that I watched, you're, the idea of the outside pawn is you're supposed to take one of the center pawns. Well, you can, you are right that uh, one way to utilize the two C pawns is to take on D5 and then play C4 again. Right? So that's oh, one of the right, greatest right. benefits of double pawns is that you can play the same move twice. That's true. Right? Okay. That's true. But now it's not that story because we are thriving on the fact that the bishop on d7 is a piece of Yeah, the bishop of is sort of stuck. Work. I think if they're going to move their knight, maybe. Okay, hold well, on a tick. Where's the knight going to go? Um, so, have a look at your other rook. Yep, yeah, I like rook b1. Of course you do. Because it's a total pain for your opponent to face. Mm -hmm. And now they have to do something about it. Yes. And uh, okay, so let's play this game now. You tell me what you think they should, they will do. Uh, maybe they'll push their pawn. <laughs> oh wow, rook a seven. I did not see that coming. Okay, okay. Um, I wonder if I can attack it. I'll help you out there. No. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. Okay. Um, I don't want to move my knight to e five because I don't want the knight to move away and give the bishop some squares to go to. So maybe... Hang, uh, oh, oh, hold on a tick. Can, I, I didn't follow that. You don't want to play knight e5 because... Knight e5 if knight takes and the pawn takes... Oh! Okay, knight e5, knight takes, pawn takes e5. We're attacking a knight, which is a pin piece. Correct. Okay, my other idea was bishop c2. Okay. Daydreaming about queen d3. Yeah, that's not a bad plan generally, but here it's really bad because it blunders the c4 pawn, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now hear me out, Katrina, here, and we are going to make you pick. 95 yeah. is a good idea. I'm all mm -hmm. for it. Put your pieces in the center. Marvelous. Yeah. The other move that you should very seriously consider here is actually, ironically, a release of the tension by pushing the pawn to c5. You tell c5. me why that is a good move. Maybe so I can support a piece going to b6. Very good. That's one of the reasons. And the other one has to do something with the pawn on b7, which has become what we call a... Backwards pawn. Bingo. And by playing c5, you're securing it there forever. And it also means that the rook on a7, which is a, a terribly misplaced piece, is going to be yeah. now glued to the defense of the pawn on b7. Either mm -hmm. moves are fine. You choose. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. I would have never thought of this. See, I would have probably had taken this. I, th I thought that you wouldn't have considered yeah. that. But I'm very happy for you that you found 95. And uh, after some second yeah. thoughts, we realized after how strong takes, that takes was. After pawn, I realized that we're attacking the knight and then we could open up. Yeah. Mm. It's possible that knowing this or having already thought about this on there and they're going to play h6 trying to kick my... Okay, bishop. so what, what would you do if they did but that? I think here I could just go bishop h4. Precisely. Because I don't think they should push g5 anyway. Okay, so this is a very rich lesson and I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but do you notice, Katrina, that having played c5 has mm -hmm. created a tremendous amount of weak dark squares in your opponent's camp? And guess what colored bishop do they not have? Oh, a dark square bishop. So you, you see trade. now how easy it is to infiltrate on e5 on b6. It's because there is no dark squared bishop on the board. I see. That's true. Okay. It's interesting because I never really think about this like in the first 10 moves. And then later, you know what I mean? And then sometimes you look at it and you realize it's been a mistake, but it's already, you've already made that mistake. It's too late now. Yeah. You should have been planning from the All right. start, but you so weren't. So what was your opponent's last move again? 
Um, A4, I don't really think that A4 does anything. I am still considering knight E5, but now I'm not sure if this weakens my C, the B pawn that's now a C pawn, but I don't know that it really matters. How would it weaken your pawn? It's just a lonely pawn. But we have already established that they can't take on E5 because it loses a piece. That's right. By the way, Do I even really want to go to E5. Oh, totally, totally. Because so they they can't take it. Correct. So then what am I threatening? Nothing. We're just hanging out, being really powerful. Um, no, Katrina. When you play a move like ninety five, if that yeah. move does not create a threat, that would mean that we are in a heap of trouble. And oh. quite quite frankly, we are borderline winning here. Oh yeah. But before let let me just let let me just do a bit of a chat here, bit yeah. by bit first. You said your opponent's A4 move was doing nothing. Yeah, I'm not sure what A4 does. I don't like that language. I want you to replace it with, it was garbage. <laughs> okay. Right? Uh, no, no, no. I'm dead set serious. Like, I told you this before in this lesson, that this you is... must evaluate your opponent's moves on a scale right. from going from terrible to very good. It does right, nothing, right. does not fit anywhere on this scale. You have I to agree. attribute value to it. Does it have value or does it not have value? You must be no, that black and this white. This is a garbage move. Correct. You're but right. we, are, we are not offending the opponent by this. It's the no, move it's a, you are you evaluating. Know, it was probably just a mouse slip that turned... You know, when you make a mistake, you just double down on it. That's probably Yeah, yeah. Bad. But I'm not talking yeah, about right? A5. Now I'm talking about the last move, A4. Oh, yeah, I agree. So that just I don't did, know why A5 and I don't did understand nothing. A4. So you go like it's rubbish. Now, rubbish moves in maybe, chess. Maybe they're trying to prepare for the end game. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't know. No. Nah. It's just that they're stuck. They have nothing yeah. to do. I agree. So garbage moves get punished by regular good moves. You centralizing the knight is a regular good move. You would right. do it in normal circumstances, let alone when you are winning. Now, mm -hmm. what is our threat? Or rather, what are our frets um i was thinking about bishop takes f bishop takes f6 and if the queen takes we're threatening taking the bishop with a fork correct that's game over okay what happens yes. if they take back with the pawn on f6 uh then i think we would just go queen g4 check you could uh is there any other check in that position Hmm. I mean, there's bishop h7. All right. Is that a check capture and a check? It is a check and a capture. So is that your pre preference? Does it? Is it better if... Is it still a check capture when we get captured back immediately? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, it is still better? Okay. I mean, of the course check? they would take us back. What they do, Katrina, is irrelevant. <laughs> now we are on the kill. <laughs> I don't care right, what they do. Right. I am mating okay, right. them. We can give up our pieces because we're going to win. Yeah, so bishop h7, continue this line of inquiry, please. Wait, sorry, you want me to do this quietly? No, out loud. Oh, okay. No, sorry, I don't think you heard me. No, I no. said continue this line of inquiry is what I said. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry. So that... That is, fine. that is after, we're talking about after bishop takes f6. Yeah, so we are uh, assuming here that your opponent plays a null move, meaning something that doesn't change what's on the board. Right. So then we and are then, now analyzing bishop f6, gf6, bishop h7, check, king takes bishop, h7. Follow it, please, up. Oh, uh, queen h5, check. Keep going. And the king has to go, I guess, to g7. Okay, so now your opponent stop this because your opponent played a move that is going to impact what, what is happening. Wait, I think this might be not a good... I think this is a garbage move. Actually, I think it's a much better this move a... than, knight, than A4 was <laughs> really? because now he's trying to direct pieces to the king's side because he's aware true, of the true. fact that we are butchering them. So actually, <laughs> I would not label this as garbage. They're but moving I, to the right side. But I would still consider us doing aggressive things here. Okay, I think you can still take the knight. Okay, what's the follow-up after pawn bishop takes? Bishop takes, pawn takes. Uh, I guess the knight isn't... Our knight is in trouble, but maybe we don't care. I'm wondering if we can still play the exact same lines. Bishop h7, king takes h7, queen h5, mm -hmm. check. The king goes... I guess it can go to g7. Yes. G7 or g8? 7. Let's go with 7. Okay, g7, and then... Can I stop you there for a second, please? 
Hold yeah. your thought. So in that position, when the knight was on c6, we would have gone check again with the queen on g4. Yeah. Forcing the king back to the h file. Yeah. And after king goes back to h7, we would have played rook lift, rook e3, and rook h3 oh, mate is unstoppable. Oh, I see. But this move is raining on the party because now when you go queen g4 check, the knight can block on g6. Yeah, I thought I was thinking about that too. So I was wondering instead of going back, if we could move the knight to g4. Mm. So I still think that bishop takes f6 is the best move here. So play it out. He's going to take back. Take, and then we have to decide what to do. Correct. So now we have got a, a number of options. I can see about two different wins. Wait, why not just queen? Oh, if queen h5 right away and then the pawn pushes, then you can no longer use your bishop and a queen to attack h7. Hold on, hold on, because what you're saying is very valid. So queen h5, f5. What is a good looking attacking move in that position for us? A good attacking move in this position after f5. So queen h5, uh, f5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then um, a good looking attacking move would be what? Uh, rook e3? Brilliante. And now we are because threatening rook h3, which is going yeah. to be deadly. Now, the other line that I calculated in the meantime that I can decide which one I would do is queen g4 check, forcing the king to h8, and then playing queen h4 with the dual threat of hitting h7 with mate and f6 with a check. Oh, queen h4 attacking this lonely pawn. Yes. Well... Could the pawn not take though? So queen g and then you know you check queen g4 check king moves to h8, queen h4 and then doesn't the pawn just take the knight on so, e5? So hang on, what was the primary threat with queen h4? Oh, you were gonna check anyways. No mate on h7. <laughs> right, because of the bishop. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. We don't care about a lonely pawn. But black has got oh. uh, f5 there and that blocks the mate. Um, although then queen f6 check king g8 should win but i want you to go with queen h5 because that was like what you calculated h5. i like queen h5 yeah. i feel that if they take the knight here you would have checkmate so they have to push the pawn oh. okay so this is the, uh i forgot to ask you this no i saw it i just wanted to ask you to calculate this but i forgot right because this actually loses but you need to see why and we needed to see before we went to h5 I did not consider this at all. You were right. Okay, so if the knight takes here and the f pawn retakes, I don't know that we have enough pieces to stack also, to also stack the bishop. Only one way to find it out, Katrina. Only yeah, one right? way. So so knight takes g6, uh, f takes g6, bishop takes g6, pawn takes g6, queen g6 check, the king moves over. And now you go rook e3, threatening rook h3. Uh-huh. But can the queen go to... Or maybe the rook goes to f7? That's hanging. Oh, yeah. Okay. But even queen, if it did, that doesn't stop the mate. You're right. Queen f7, rook h3, check. Queen blocks. You can just take the queen for free. I think you just take the queen the king takes. Yeah. Now... And then you probably find a win later on. Work with me. What do you mean? Yeah. That's mate. Wait, it is? Why? No, the king takes the queen. How? There is a queen on g6 and there is a rook on h3. Right. Right. The queen covers the rook. Yeah. <laughs> Plans on a check. <laughs> in front of me. Yeah. Planning on a checkmate and then not seeing it. All right. So, so, close, so close. work with me, Katrina, here. After you play rook e3, our move is rook h3, right? Yep, that's there is right. A, there is a black move that can stop that. Oh, uh, bish, um, e e five. Right. What is our response to that? Hmm. Uh, maybe bishop f five. No, we already lost our bishop. Mm -hmm. So takes the knight takes, and now we can't do it. Uh, wow, I got locked off from your game because of inactivity. Can you believe okay. this? Because am I? Because you haven't made oh a single move. Oh my god! You need to draw some arrows or something. <laughs> Jesus. Should I take the knight or should I wait? Uh, no, take it. So I'll, I'll move but Katrina in that I position. Agree. is going to be rook g3. Rook 
Oh, I see. Okay, so I'm going to use my bishop to take g6, and the pawn is going to take, and I'm going to use the queen to check on g6. Yeah, yeah, so take g6, pawn g6, queen g6, king h8, and then rook e3, yeah. e5, then rook g3, which creates the double mate threat of queen g7 and queen h6, and they can't be defended queen both. Queen g7, oh, you're right. So actually, if you are using your opponent's time, like I am then arguing... Actually, maybe rook g3, would, what is better than h3? No, no, that, in that case, yes, but what I'm trying to say mm -hmm. is that your opponent is not going to take you on g6 now because that's just death. So you reckon here okay. exclusively oh, with queen so e7 queen because e that's seven. the only move that they can do. I agree. So now you need to think about what we would do against that. Um, can I still go rookie three here if the pawn takes? Here if the pawn takes, you could just go rook g3 pinning the pawn to the king. The king could move, but then it would block the queen, so it's not going to do that. No, king f7 is mate after queen g6. They are not going to do that, you are yeah, right. So that's they will not... push the pawn. <laughs> so... They will push g5. You're right. Okay. Um... That or I move the bishop back. Yeah, I think uh, we simply just pull the queen bishop back to d3. Yeah. Let's do that. So then there's no reason to try to stack the piece since the bishop is like a long range attack. You can yeah. still lift. E, I mean, what you did, what, yeah, what you did was very good, Katrina. You should calculate rook e3 first because we want to destroy. But I wanted yeah. to save some time for you because I feel like our right. clock is ticking away. Oh, four minutes and 52 seconds is a lot of time. That's lots of time. Don't worry. Yeah, right. So you get well, always us. Indeed, it prevents eight. Sorry, F is F five a problem? No, F five is a, a classic case of a non problem. Um, that move would be bad on every hanging. account, exactly. But even if it weren't, it weakened the E five square. It weakened the G five square. It's a terrible positional move to begin with. But on top of that, you have just established that it's hanging. Bishop takes yeah. F five, right? Because if Rook yeah. takes, we take the rock. Yeah. Go. Can we just take the wait. Should I take this? Are we still trying to? No. Checkmate? No. Well, oh, that's part. Not... That's part of checkmating, oh. isn't it? I guess so. You're right because at the end, the pawn is hanging, the bishop is hanging. It's actually a problem for Black. Yeah, a sizable one. Yeah. Oh, the bishop moves to attack the queen. Okay. Okay. Fair we're, enough. We're good. What I it... think I could probably just go queen g6 check. Let's try queen g4 check because queen g6 would be a bot as gambit. Oh, sorry, sorry, yes. I was <laughs> I drew the arrow and named the wrong square. Yeah, let's do <laughs> it. Know? Let's do it. And now I like rook e6. Uh, sorry, have they moved yet? No, but I guess it was a forced move. Oh, they went right. to king uh, h8. King h8. I guess they could, you're right, they could have gone king f7. No, oh, no, that's garbage because then f e6 hangs with check. Sorry, I, that was probably <laughs> a bit offensive. Um, I like rook e6. I like rook it too. E6. Let's go. But you are aware, I, I'm hoping that after queen f7, the bishop is hanging, and if we move it, then f2 is hanging too, right? It's safe. Wait, sorry. After the queen moves, the bishop's hanging? Queen f7. Queen f7. Hits the bishop and f2 behind it. If you didn't see that, that's a problem. Sorry, and f2. Oh, my piece. Yeah, the one that oh, we are playing right. with. But I can't just take... I can't just take the rook... Or I can't just take the bishop. Bishop e ta takes e8. I'm not following Katrina. What are we doing after queen f7? Okay, queen f7, rook takes e8. Isn't that free to take for black? That's what I was thinking. Is is queen? Is that really a problem? Well, I don't think so. Right? It is a problem if you want to take on e8, because that just gives up a rook for a bishop for no reason, right? You're right. You're right. So and the queen I is now on f7, so the rook takes. Yeah, I want you to figure out a good move against queen okay, f7. After, after queen f7. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or queen g7. So this is why I'm telling you, Katrina, that this is a good thing to use this time because now already you can establish that queen g7 was bad because queen f7 yeah. was good. Yeah? Oh, I see. See? So now you can sigh a sigh of relief. Not that queen f7 that would make much of a difference. We were totally winning anyway. 
That's but right. that was our worry. When our opponent doesn't play what worries us, that's like... Mm -hmm. Then it's not a problem because... Thanks for coming. Else. Okay, here, I think I always do this thing where I trade my queen in an attacking position, but I'm not sure that I should. No, you shouldn't. Maybe I just go queen h6. Uh, that's illegal, but you meant queen h3. Sorry, queen h4, queen h4. Let's not forget, Katrina, that f5 is hanging a bit. Oh, now, yeah, you, you could argue that it's not because the e8 is hanging, but I don't think that you were aware of all of this. I'm not. I'm yeah. Not. Uh, so, uh, and I'm not giving you grief, but you at 100% at any given time, you must totally be fully aware okay. of what's going on and what's hanging. So I would You're argue right. for queen h3. Queen h I agree with you. Queen h3, and then because we're defending on the diagonal, and then one day we can move our rook to h6. Yep. I think by being active, it means that I need to guess moves, by the way. So I just guess a3 from your opponent. So that I don't get banned from the board again. Oh, oh, I didn't know that you had to. Okay. Right. What do we expect now? Um, maybe I don't think that H six is going to be pushed. That's not a move. No. Nah. It's a little bit weird for this black rook that's too far away. Wow. Bishop D seven attacking the rook, which, but I don't think that makes any sense because our plan was to go rook H six anyways. Hold on. Isn't the bishop on F five hanging? Oh yeah. Then it's attacked twice, and we only defend it once. But I don't really like rook e5. Should have taken that bishop. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Could have solved all of my problems. Wow. Is this the kind of time where I would sack all of my pieces and then uh, be forced into a losing game? Okay, so Katrina, there are <laughs> there are times when. <laughs> You just you just do a caveman win, right? Are you aware of the fact that we are up by seventy five pawns? Uh, at least three. Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. so let's just keep it calm and measured. Pull okay, okay. pull the rook why back to e five. Why don't we just attack the queen? Why don't we make some complications for our opponent, and he's not going to take our bishop if we just go like rook g six or something. Actually, pawn... rook g six is an interesting idea, but it doesn't really accomplish. Ah, uh, bishop f five, rook g seven. Bishop, yeah, I, I would like to argue for keeping it simple, especially because we have two minutes. Okay, so maybe just rook e5. Then. Precisely. Let's just get the wood off the board and win. Right, right. I was very optimistic my knight would one day go to h6, so I didn't want to take it off the 6 line. You mean the rook? Yes. Yeah, All right, you said knight. But I, you know, I have another rook, so I could just bring in the other rook if I wanted to. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, rook g6 was an interesting move, but then bishop takes f5 was possible. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, and then the queen is hanging, so you yeah. take their queen, they take your queen, and when they... Yeah, yeah, yeah see. So, this, is the, this is what I was saying, or, or the move that I would normally play under time pressure would be something just like queen yeah. h7, queen takes, uh, bishop takes, king takes. Just really, you know, just give up all of my pieces for no yeah. attack at all. Also, after rook g6, they could have just taken the rook with the queen. Because our bishop is pinned to our queen. Right? Oh, true. So, yeah. the rule of thumb, Katrina, here is the opposite of what you were trying to do. When you are in time trouble, we simplify. Yeah. We don't complicate. We mm -hmm. simplify. So, take so it. So, here I'm going to take the, the bishop with my rook. Yep. And when they take it, we're going to take it. We're simplifying. Yes. And we're Good. even threatening queen c8. Yes. Where the queen will block it immediately. Actually, Katrina, after rook takes, queen takes, what I want yeah. you to be aware of is that our number one threat is pawn push to c6. Pawn push to c6? Our number one. Oh, because... Oh. Uh, I'm afraid our opponent might be unaware of certain chess rules, such as the en passant the capture. En passant. I think the rule is when there's en passant, you're supposed to take en passant. So do it. I don't know if they're trying to distract me, though, you know? Yeah. So the idea behind <laughs> c6, by the way, was that if they took it, then rook b8 was made. Just to finish off the previous thought. Wait, I'm sorry. If The idea behind c... Oh, our c6. c6, they take... Oh, right, because we would have rook b8 after the rook trades, uh -huh. and the queen takes, and then the queen can't block Yep, it. yep, yep. The queen could block it, but we would have... Yeah, but we would win a queen yeah. immediately. All right. Let's just um, trade down like crazy. I think we can, yeah, right? I think we can just exchange this. Yeah. Go queen c... Oh. 
didn't think that the queen was going to take back, but I guess that makes perfect sense. Um, we need to invade with the queen, Katrina. Name the square, please. I like e6. Go. Go. That's it. We're attacking a pawn. Threatening queen c6. Set, threatening to simply centralize on e5 with a check. The perfect yeah. chess move. Now, after rook e7, Katrina, what are we going to do? After rook e7. Yep. Oh. Uh, can I play queen e5? I think the, I think the queen would just... No, I can't block. Uh, queen e5 is, is hanging by the rook, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Can I take the pawn? You mean uh, the rook? Pa uh, sorry, queen takes... Queen takes uh, d5. Wait, you can just take the rook and promote a pawn? I think uh, by the rules of chess, we are allowed to do that. Pawn is unstoppable. Yeah. But then... Chess is easy, yeah, remember? Queen takes back, the queen takes, you take. That's definitely winning because you have a rook. Mm -hmm. So this is how Katrina we spend out the opponent time usefully. That we are investigating lines like this because as a right, result right. of that, so now here, we I know think we can still take the queen. Exactly, we, we are, we are now in the this. exact same story, except it's now even I'm better. Now we're going to go B7. Yep, and wow. that's when he's going to Bruce. resign. Yeah. I always, I always, I always give the B pawn a hard time. Yep. Take it. Because it's and yeah. he resigned. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, Katrina, I don't want to be a douchebag, but um, I'm feeling a little bit uh, being partial and biased because my one hour lesson went two, and that's not what I gave to Morphe fan. So I would like to oh. call it off now with your okay, permission. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what I would great. like I really to ask you this. to yeah. to reflect on how this game went. So mm -hmm. if you want to spend the next 15 minutes very usefully chess-wise, what I yeah. would do with your chat is to, st to start looking at this game from move one and yeah. single out the moves that you wouldn't have played if I hadn't yeah. been here and, re yeah. and reflect on why wouldn't you have done that, identify mm -hmm. the value of those moves and try to think about how you would put those moves on the map of your thoughts for the next game. That yeah, wasn't, I, that I wasn't an awful up, lot, thought, by the way. Yeah. So there will be not a lot to reflect. C5 stands out to me, but and part of the attack we did. But other than yeah, that, C, this was a very yeah, C5 smooth... C5 is not something that I would have thought of. And then I pre I think, yeah, there's a few things that I would have thought of, but not done. So yep, I yep. thought this was, you know, like I just didn't have the confidence to play it or I didn't think through the lines until we talked about it. Precisely. Was... And be sure yeah. that you do this without the engine. Okay. Give the me, en yes. engine, engine is our enemy. We can do self-analysis. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. On that note, Katrina, well, I will Thank have to bounce. Um, I would like to lock in a similar time next week, but we will talk about this on Discord. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All righty. Take care. Enjoy the rest of All your right. stream. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Cheerio. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.